Yo, 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 it's your boy, The Ultimate Rage. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that follow button. Make sure you follow me on all social medias at The Ultimate Rage, IG, FB, Twitter, TikTok, wherever. I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm The Ultimate. On, well, on TikTok, I'm The Ultimate Rage, the number nine. The Ultimate Rage nine. But anyway, this is probably the most important video I will ever make. Because this one is, it really hits close to home. You feel what I'm saying? Because as a black atheist in America, I am in a very peculiar situation where I live in a world that is dominated by religion. But more importantly, the black community is the most religious community of them all demographically you feel what i'm saying like my entire family believes in christianity or at least some kind of theism i'm like the only person in my immediate family and almost my ex entire extended family that identifies publicly as an atheist i only know another cousin shout out my cousin reese that i know of who is non-religious but i don't even I, I don't even know if he's an atheist but black people all across america are largely religious particularly christianity and islam but i'm focusing more on jesus since christianity is the predominant religion of america hell i used to be a christian you feel what i'm saying like for six years, when I was 16, I converted to Christianity. And, you know, so I understand why people are Christian. I get why people believe this stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know, I mean, when I was 16, I wasn't into space at all. I wasn't into physics. I wasn't into science at all. I found science boring. It was whack. I got a D in chemistry. I'm like, you know what? This is this is crap. You feel what I'm saying? Not to mention, since I'm largely in, this, I mean, ignorant about a lot of different things at the time. You know, particularly the sciences. I always have felt that there had to be some kind of God. It just made sense to me. You know, I grew up in the Christian home, but my mom didn't really push it on us like that. She would take us to church all the time, but she wasn't like you know die hard about it but when i was in high school she started getting back into it like really hard she brought me and my siblings to church and you know you know how the altar call goes they coerce you to join and stuff like that so they coerced us and i went along with it because i was like well i always believed that there's a god it just made sense to me and so i'm like well if there is a god then i want to know and so this is how I got indoctrinated, which is typically how most people get indoctrinated, usually at a younger age. But um, I say all that to say that uh, once I became a Christian, I was really, really into it. Like, I joined the ministry at the church, you know, the rap ministry. We were a rap group. It was dope. I was loving it, you know, even though there was a lot of issues there, too. But, like... You know, for the most part, I got along with everybody there. I didn't have any particular issues with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were really a community. You know, even though a, a couple things did happen uh, between me and individuals there, that those things that, that occur aren't the things that made me step away from religion. What made me step away from religion was the, the fact that I studied Christianity so much deeper and the deeper i studied it the less and less sense it made so i get why people believe religion you know like we fear death we don't know what happens after we die you know so believing that there's a better place after we die gives people comfort you know it makes them feel good about the life that they're living because you know, once they die, they go to this awesome place where they can meet all their loved ones, particularly loved ones that you really, truly cared about and held dear to you. You know, I understand that idea. You know, you lost your mom, you lost your sister, your daughter, your son, whoever. Like, you want to believe that you'll reunite with them one day. I get it. Trust me. I understand it. You know, uh, 
it gives you a sense of purpose. It gives you something to work towards, you know, gives you a sense of a world view that you're doing something that's justifiable, something that's right, something that's going to make the world better. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of us are, you know, searching community. Sometimes you don't have too many friends and, you know, you get a sense of community at the church. I get it. Trust me. But I'm not saying what I'm finna say out of hate. I'm not saying this to try to make you feel bad, try to make you hate yourself or hate your day or hate me. I'm doing this out of love because it just saddens me, the state of the black community today. And to see how religion has had a major hand in holding us back collectively as black people. You feel what I'm saying? So this video, I am declaring once and for all that the time has come for us black people to let go of Jesus. It's time to let Jesus go, okay? And I'm going to give you three major reasons as to why. You feel what I'm saying? Because this shit is ridiculous. I'm sorry. Okay, but first of all, let's start off with some American history, okay? Without getting all deep into it and trying to go to the dates and all this type of stuff, let's just say that there was this thing called uh, the transatlantic slave trade. Yeah, that thing that happened where a lot of black people were sold into slavery and forced into slavery against their will and had to work three, four hundred years being treated as subhuman, treated as less than nothing, brutalized, assaulted in very various different ways, very brutal ways, and forced to lose our sense of community, our history, our traditions, our heritage. A lot of us can't go back into our family histories that far because of the transatlantic slave trade. You feel what I'm saying? And not only that, but more importantly, black people were coerced, forced, and indoctrinated into subscribing to Christianity as a way to take away our heritage and as a way to keep us docile while we are remaining under captivity. You feel what I'm saying? And not only that, but according to Christian dogma, slavery is a legit practice. Nowhere in the Bible does it say slavery is wrong and it is ungodly. As a matter of fact, there's a passage in Exodus 21.20. I'm going to read it to you real quick. It says, Anyone who beats their male or female slave with the rod, and this is the NIV version, must be punished if the slave dies as a direct result. But they are not to be punished if the slave recovers after a day or two, since the slave is their pro property. And if we go down to verse 26, it says, An owner who hits a male or female slave in the eye and destroys it must let the slave go free to compensate for the eye. And an owner who knocks out the tooth of a male or female slave must let the slave go free to compensate for the tooth. It does not say, hey, slavery is wrong and you shouldn't do it at all. That ridic that's ridiculous, man. Like, I don't think anybody today would ever agree that slavery makes sense and that we should do it or that anybody should do it. It's horrible. Now, point number two. Theism is simply wrong. It's wrong, and I'm going to tell you that it doesn't make any sense. First of all, it doesn't matter what you believe, what religion you believe, what form of theism, what brand of theism, what branch of theism that you subscribe to. Not a single theist can demonstrate theism to be true. 
None of you can demonstrate where God is. You can't tell me where Jesus is. Where is Jesus? If Jesus is real and he's alive, you should be able to give me an exact location. Not some stupid shit like, look inside your heart. It's in the Bible. Just think. Just ask God. Wait, no, you should be able to say, oh, he's on the corner of 35th and Mac or something. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's on 79th and, and, and Ashland. Stand right there on the corner. You should be able to give me some actual location. Okay? Not only that. But the theology just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't comport with reality. It is not scientifically verifiable. In fact, it does not hold up to any scientific scrutiny whatsoever. And I'm going to get into that a bit later. But uh, not only that, but it doesn't, religion, Christianity doesn't serve any viable purpose directly other than providing you with a delusion it's a delusion okay none of the claims can be demonstrated to be true okay some of the locations in the bible might be real locations but so what new york city is a real place does that mean spider-man is real come on man it's 2021 why are we holding on to these old ideas okay now i just intellectually explain to you why Christianity is ridiculous. I have other videos where I flesh it out more in depth, but it's pretty simple. You can't show me Jesus anywhere. You can't show me God, Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, any of that, anywhere, any way that's meaningful and unambiguous. If you could, you would, but you can't. So you don't. You do everything to dance around the fact that you can't demonstrate the reality that God is true. You can't show it. If Even if it is true, you can't demonstrate it. So you can't give anybody any good reason to believe it. But now that I have intellectually explained my point, I'm finna hit black people where it hurts. Because this is where it gets really, really fucking real. Okay? And you, if you can't handle this, then you might as well turn away. If you, if you already are still here, thank you. Because it's about to get real. And I'm about to try to speed through this because I only got eight minutes of uh, recording time. So I'm about to go crazy right now. Christianity has done nothing. Absolutely nothing in and of itself to help the black community. You might get point to pastors, people like Dr. Martin Luther King who have done great and wonderful things, okay? But he, they didn't do those great and wonderful things because of Christianity. They did those great and wonderful things despite Christianity. You feel what I'm saying? So let's start with the fact that our neighborhoods are the worst in all of America. They're dirty, they're filthy, they're dangerous, and there's no economic viability. Everybody's broke. As a matter of fact, let's jump to the wealth inequality. Black people have about 10%, if not less, of white wealth. You feel what I'm saying? According to the Pew Research Center, white families have 141 k uh, average wealth, whereas for blacks, it's 11 k back in 2013. The Brookings Institution and Pew Research also say that it's 171 k for whites and 17 k for blacks in 2016. And then the Federal Reserve says that it's 142.5 k for whites and 24.1 k for blacks in 2019. So the wealth of blacks has stagnated largely. It has not risen. We have no, we have very little, or should I say, way less economic opportunities compared to other races, particularly whites. But, you know, I don't want to get too deep into that. The fact is that these things are true. Our health isn't good. You know what I'm saying? I was going to do some more uh, numbers for this, but I don't want to get too deep into the numbers. But, the average lifespan of black people is less than that of white people. You can just look that up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, prayer doesn't do anything. Faith doesn't do anything. It didn't do anything to stop COVID. All of you people who believe that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, I didn't see you in church when, when the shutdown happened. And the ones who were, a lot of y'all got sick. Some of y'all died. Some of y'all lost loved ones who wanted to believe Jesus would heal them and help them from this crap. 
what are y'all thinking about? If Jesus was going to help you, we wouldn't be in this position right now. Let's talk about the fact that all of these senseless killings and tragedies are constantly happening. And Jesus ain't this shit. Whether we're talking about gang violence, just regular senseless violence in our communities, you know, whether we're talking about poverty, homelessness, all this type of stuff, police killing us dead in the street. Do I need to name all the people who have been victims of police brutality and Jesus ain't did shit? It's so funny how people will go on social media and be like, oh, thank Jesus for this and thank Jesus for that. I'm like, well, I bet you Breonna Taylor ain't thinking Jesus for shit right now. I bet you Sean Bell ain't thinking, ain't thinking Jesus at all. Oscar Grant, you know, freaking, I mean, we, we could just go down. I, it, it's obvious, you know what I'm saying? Not to mention our education is piss poor. We don't know shit. Even the most educated among us don't know shit about nothing outside of what field they were trained for. We don't know anything about science and STEM fields. As a matter of fact, not, black people only make up 9% of all STEM jobs in America. You feel what I'm saying? Christianity doesn't stop sexual assault against women. It doesn't stop child hunger. It doesn't help give us access to clean water. Look at all the people in Flint with all the dirty water, all the lead poisoning, all that type of shit. What about all the trauma caused by slavery, Jim Crow, and all the things that have happened against black people all these years? The lack of mental health, the lack of mental health treatment, of basic health Ensure all that type of stuff. Access to, to, to health services. We lack all of these things. And Jesus ain't did shit to help us with none of that shit. So why do we keep clinging to Jesus? You feel what I'm saying? It ain't did nothing for us. You feel what I'm saying? So this is what we need to do as black people. We need to let go of that old bullshit. It don't work. It don't work. It don't work. Nigga, I got robbed at gunpoint in front of a church. What did Jesus do to help me? You feel what I'm saying? Well, we need to start being more practical. We need to start being more logical. We need to work on actually bettering ourselves, educating ourselves and each other, and stop believing in the stupid ass bullshit. It don't do shit. It does not do shit. Why are you so content with believing this nonsense that you know you can't demonstrate? You people shun having conversations with atheists like me because you know you cannot demonstrate your fucking bullshit. And you know people like me gonna call you out. You know I'm gonna put you on blast. And you can't handle that. So that's why you run away from these conversations. Well, guess what? These conversations are not only here to stay, but we gonna have them a lot more often because I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. I love my black people. I hate to see... The fact that we are this way, that we're still so fucked up, that we're still being paid lip service by all these politicians, but at the end of the day, we are still in the state that we're in. We have this income wealth inequality, wealth and income inequality. We have all these different inequalities that occur throughout society. It's not just black people. It's all other races too. But I'm black, so I'm talking to my fellow black people. I love y'all. I'm black. We're all in this together. We are all that we got. Jesus ain't coming back. I don't believe he even existed. But if he did, if he was real, he's dead. And he's been dead for damn near 2,000 years. He ain't coming back. It's not going to happen. But you know what can happen? Us creating a better society for each other. Us actually working towards becoming the post-scarcity civilization, becoming the Kardashev level one and beyond civilization, and actually doing the steps, doing the work, putting in the work that's going to help actually create a better society for us and for the world overall. We need access to health care. We need to improve our infrastructure. We need to improve our education. We need to take all these steps so that we can make ourselves better as black people. So I'm going to end it right there. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to my boy, LB. Check out ONL Clothing. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on all social media at The Ultimate Rage. Donate, dollar sign, The Ultimate Rage on Cash App. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let Jesus go once and for all. Jesus, religious bullshit, please let
my people go over and out.